A very good morning to all my dear students of class 8. Today I am going to explain you the other half of the chapter of 1, Representation of Geographical Features. I have told you about the different types of the counter of lines and today I will be telling you and explaining you the different types of settlement patterns. Now, settlement patterns are what exactly? Settlements are the groups of human dwellings. They may be in the rural areas or urban areas, generally thick, dense settlements which are found over the fertile plains. So what do you mean and what do you understand by the word fertile? Fertile means where the crops can easily grow a lot. And there is a wide river valley. The settlement patterns which are thinly populated areas which occurs in areas of the poor, thin soils, forested areas, over flat hilltops and in the desert areas with poor vegetation. Let us see how many classifications which are based on the pattern of the settlements. As you can see in the PPT, there are five patterns of the settlements. For example, number one, which is in the yellow color, which is the temporary settlement. Second one, which is in the green color, which is the permanent settlement. The third one, which is in the red color, which is the new seated settlement. The fourth one, which is in the black color, is the dispersed settlement. And the last one, which is in the gray color, which is the linear settlement. Let me talk about all the settlement and please jot down the points if you think these settlements are important. Let us talk about the temporary settlement. What are the temporary settlements? The temporary settlements are the settlements which on the topo sheets they are represented as the blank red squares. And these settlements are found in harsh climatic areas where hunting, food gathering and shifting agriculture are practiced. Let us go to the permanent settlement which is in green color. Now what are the permanent settlements? These are the homes built by the people where they can live for a long time, especially in India. It is thick, densely populated areas such as the Indo-Gigantic Plains, which are permanent settled areas. And if you see on the topo sheets, they are represented thus in red squares. And most of the settlements are assumed in certain pattern which are in relation to the area where they grow up. Then we come to the third one, which is in red color, news related settlement. Let us see what are these new seated settlement. These are generally, which is generally like is clustered around a well or a temple or a junction of roads. These are generally important village settlements with respect to the functions, the size and the facilities which are offered like for example availability of water, transport, network of roads, railway station, etc. Then we come to the black uh, which is the dispersed settlement. Now what are these dispersed settlements? These are also called the scattered okay, settlements. In this pattern people live in the huts near on agricultural lands or wells scattered over a large area and the pattern is associated with sparse population. Then we come to the last but not the least, the linear settlements. Now what are these? These settlements strung out along the road, canal or stream 
as a line along the foothills of the hills. They are also called the ribbon settlements. So I will be up to here, my dear children. Tomorrow I will be explaining you the principles of map interpretation, which are which are followed by physical features, drainage features, land use, settlements, transport and communication, occupations of the people. Tomorrow I will explain you all these points. But for today, the uh, explanation of the settlement patterns, which are five, which you must keep in mind, the temporary settlement, the permanent settlement, the nucleated settlement, the dispersed settlement, and the linear settlement. So I hope that you have understood my lecture and I will meet you when the school reopens. So bye for now and God bless you all.